Hello guys, welcome to Professor DK and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create the Hello World app and I'll show you a simple further extension of the Hello World app where you can click a button and a greeting is displayed. So this marks the beginning of the tutorial series for Android beginners. So let's just start with it. So I'm assuming that you have Android Studio installed. So let's just fire up our Android Studio 2.3. Now suppose you don't have it already. just Go to your browser and type in Android Studio 2.3 which is the latest version of Android Studio out there. So Android Studio is basically the IDE or the developer's environment where you write code for Android, for Android phone. So here you have it. So here in their website you can see that you will have a download link. So it's uh, around 2 GB. So just download it and you can also look around for the couple of features. So once you have downloaded this you should see that it will fire up Android Studio and it will ask you for a couple of settings. So once you have fired up your Android Studio, you should be seeing this window. So these are the recent projects that you have done, but since you are starting new, so you can just click on start a new Android Studio project. So Android Studio will open up another window which prompts you to enter the application name. So the application name is the one that you, the app will have the name that the app will have so this is what uh, people will call your app so for the sake of this demonstration let's just call this hello world and you can just go ahead uh, and choose the default settings but you can also change it as well so this basically means that any android user with the android version 4.1 which is the jelly bean version can use your app and you can also you know upgrade to the newer versions as well but let's just uh, go with the default you need not select anything here and for hello world we'll just uh, need an empty activity but you'll have a couple of other activities as well which are uh, done by default by google so android studio has these features as well where you can directly implement any of these so if you want a login activity you could directly choose this but for the sake of this video let's just choose the empty activity and this is the main activity which is the first thing that is shown on your screen so just choose this and let this be as it is and click on finish so android studio will take a couple of uh, minutes uh, to load on your first start so don't worry if it's taking some time because uh, Generally, uh, what happens is when you first start, when you create your first project in Android Studio, it generally takes a lot of time to build all the RAR files, the Java files, the R files and all that. So do not worry, it will, uh, you know, set it up for you, it will create all those settings and you should be good to go after it once builds. So as you can see here, the Gradle build is now running. So you, you, if you have new, if you are new to this, if you are new to this uh, IDE, you should see that at the bottom you can see the process. So once this is complete, basically you can start with your Android project. So, so once your Gradle build has finished completion, you can see that you'll have a message displayed here saying that Gradle build finished. So you should see these two files which will be open but if you're not seeing that don't worry you will probably be seeing something like this so do not worry and uh, to get those two files just go to the left hand corner and you should be under this column called android you might be probably in project or something else so make sure you are in android and under app click on the drop down and come to java and under that click on the first package name and just double click so you should see the main activity dot java file and then click on resources and under layout you should see your activity main dot xml now what are these two things you must be wondering so activity main dot xml is basically the layout of how your app should look like and main activity dot java is the code which you know synchronizes all the activities which go on in the layout now what is this activity how does this layout look like so for that if you look at the bottom you see that after text you have this column called as the design 
So as you can see, once you have opened your activity main.xml, you already have your app name, which was hello world. And you already have a text view, which is hello world already displayed. So that's it guys, it's that simple to have, to create the hello world app. So it's not, it only has that hype, but this is how everyone, you know, knows that their Android studio is working properly and that the app can run on your phone. I'll show you how you can modify this and make it much more prettier uh, in the next few seconds. But if you want to just run this on your phone right now, you can do that. And you know, to do that, you have to click this green play button on top. And if you have the developer options already enabled on your phone, you can just click on the, that and it will be shown here in the connected devices and you can run it on your phone. So I'll be showing that as well later, but for now, let's just continue with making this much more prettier and much more advanced so that you can flaunt it with your friends. So here you have your hello world. So let's just make it much more bigger. So for that, I'll just type text size. So if you see what I'm doing here, I'm just typing text size and Android Studio is auto completing the actual function which is implemented. So this is the function. So just click on enter and I just want the text size to be pretty large. So I'll just put 32, 36 scale independent pixels, which is SP. So you should see that the text has become much more larger. And this is the new thing about Android Studio 2.3, which you can see here. These springs are basically, you know, uh, constraining this uh, text view to the layout. So what this does is basically the Android Studio is constrained to the left, top, right and bottom by these springs. So you can even move this around and you can see that the springs, you know, uh, move around as well. So this is basically called as the constraint layout, which was a new addition to Android Studio 2.3. Now what I want to do is add a button so that I can do something like, uh, you know, you, you can ask your friends to click on this button and then a greeting shows up saying that this was created by me or something like that. So let's just change the text of this button to click me. So when you write, when you double click on this widget, you should see that on the right corner, you have different parameters of this widget button, which are shown and you can change the different parameters of the button. So for now, I'm just going to change the text and I'll just call it as click here. All right. And click on enter. Now, once you have set the widget, you also need to make sure that you have to constrain it to this, to the layout. So I'll constrain it to the bottom and also to the side so that it remains in the center. Now I could, you know, go ahead and constrain this to this so that it remains with this, but I just want to add one more widget and then you will see what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just going to add it in the center, another text view and this is what will display uh, you can display any text when this button is clicked so i'm just going to display uh, maybe your name or you can even show uh, this is my first app something like that so for now i'm just uh, i'm gonna type in the text as this is my first app all right so you can see that uh, the text is displayed so let's just bring it to the center and just magnify this so you have uh, the text here but i want this to be displayed only on the click of this button so we'll be doing this in a while so firstly you have to constrain all of these widgets so firstly i'm gonna constrain this to this and constrain this to this all right so as you can see here i have my text view on top which is hello world which is displayed on the start and then we, i have my grating which is this is my first tab and then i have my button so only when I click this button, this is shown. So how do I do that? So that's done using Java code. But for now, this, um, you know, I don't want this button to be much. I'll just move it a little higher. All right. Okay, so everything is constrained. And now just click on the text section in you know, uh, in your XML uh, layout. So if you see any errors, that means something is not constrained. So it's not constrained horizontally at runtime, it will jump to the left. Okay. So basically it's saying that the text view that we added, the greeting 
is not constrained horizontally so this text view so we need to you know do this as well so that it remains in the center so now that it's constrained uh, properly we can you should see that the error has gone all right and now what we need to do is so this is basically the first text view the hello world and then i have my button here let's just change the id of the button to btn click so that it remains easier and this is how you need to uh, name different uh, widget so that it remains easier to reference it later in the code so i per i personally prefer this type of uh, coding wherein i put the widget name in the first which is you know uh, a short for text view which is tv and btn for button so tv and i'm calling this greeting all right so once that is done and you should see that if you are getting some errors because the id was changed so just add the id back again so button click and no more error so everything is perfect so if you look at design everything looks good and so now how do you do the function wherein i click the button and the greeting is shown so for that we need to jump to our java code so in main activity dot java firstly we need to create a variables so for that firstly you need to create the text view which is greeting so these are user defined variables you can call this anything that you want and create another variable for button and let's just call it click I'll just put it in all small okay so i have my two variables and now i have to reference these buttons and uh, the text view to the id that we created in our xml layout so for that firstly type in the variable and then we need to also type cast it back into the widget and there's a function called as find view by id which is already returned by and our developers which we can use directly to reference it with our xml layout so r dot id dot tv greeting if you remember appropriately if you remember correctly i had given the id as tv greeting for my text view and now for the button so type cast it with the button and again do the same repeat the process r dot id dot btn click so there you have it we have uh, this is this this is how you reference any of the ids uh, any of the widgets to their respective ids in xml layout so why this is useful is because if you have two or more text views or buttons you should make sure that each of these is unique so that's why you need to reference this to unique ids in xml layout so now what we need to do is put an on click listener on the button so click is our button name so click dot set on click listener so once you type set on you can see that the auto complete option here lists the different functions which are available so i'm just going to click on the first one which is the set on click listener so just click on it and android studio will you know just complete it for you and then just type in new just follow what i'm typing here closely because in android studio you just copying won't help the way you type also matters so new on so new on click so i'm just typing on click listener here so when you can see that it auto completed for me and when i click on enter it generates this code this code for me so now if you are now why i asked you to follow it closely is because now if you just type new and view dot on click listener it is not going to work so you need to type new on click and then just use the auto complete to get this function so once that once you have done this so inside on click you basically want to show the greeting right so but now already the greeting is enabled so before anything happens firstly you need to firstly we need to disable this we need to disable the greeting so for that we can click on text view under visibility you can put it as gone okay or invisible okay so in visibility just set it as invisible and then in in main activity dot java you just need to enable this enable the visibility so so take the greeting the text view and set visibility 
and inside this you need to provide uh, either visible or not invisible so so view dot visible so that's it guys so this is how you create a simple hello world which you can use to flaunt with your friends so how do you uh, run this on your phone so just click on this green button and then i'm just going to connect my phone quickly so as you can see you can see my phone connected here so my phone xiaomi redmi 3s and uh, my android version is displayed uh, which is api 23 so once that is connected just uh, click on ok so suppose your device is not seen then maybe your developer options are not enabled so make sure you enable your developer options and click on ok so it will take some time uh, to load the app onto your phone you can uh, know when the process has finished at the bottom here so as you can see here i have the app open so you can see here that the hello world is displayed and uh, here is the button so when i click on uh, the button you can see that it displays this is my first app and there are a couple of things you could do you could even uh, put a toggle uh, function on this so that uh, you know every time you click uh, you know it uh, the visibility toggles from uh, invisible to visible you can also do that and you can also increase the text size of this and uh, at the top you see the title so this is a simple demonstration of the hello world app which you can flaunt with your friends so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also comment on what topics you would like to see uh, in the next future video so i'll try to make uh, videos on that so uh, this uh, marks the beginning of the tutorial series for android uh, beginners so i'll make sure i upload all easy projects which you can do so that you learn android in a very easy easier and simpler manner on the latest android studio so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe for more videos so let's meet again in the next video